12 images from around the world that made history. From one of the most iconic album covers of all time to a famous stretch of the infamous Berlin Wall, here's 12 shots from around the world that have made history. Number 12. Che and Fidel At one time, Cuban dictator Fidel Castro and Argentine Marxist Che Guevara were close friends who shared similarly radical ideas while fighting Cuba's authoritarian government. After leading a successful revolution, Castro named Che leader of the nation's most notorious prison, La Cabana Fortress, and eventually its central bank. This famous image, taken in 1961, shows the pair united. Unfortunately, shortly after the picture was taken, their relationship soured. Che left Cuba in 1965 to spread his radical ideas across Latin America. He would be captured deep in the jungles of Bolivia two years later and executed. Though he could have sent a military unit to Bolivia to save his old comrade, Castro instead left his one-time friend stranded to die. Che's portrait has become an iconic image in its own right that can be found on countless t-shirts and merchandise. Number 11. Moon Landing On July 20th, 1969, with millions around the world watching, the crew of Apollo 11 reached their intended mission destination, the moon. Spacecraft commander Neil Armstrong had the incredible honor of being the first human being to touch lunar ground and famously commented, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, as he was stepping on its surface. It's Buzz Aldrin and his suited figure standing next to the American flag, however, that became the most striking image from the epic journey. The accomplishment ranks up there with mankind's greatest, if, of course, you believe that it actually happened. Number 10. Afghan Girl Her mesmerizing green eyes landed Sharbat Gula, a young Afghan girl, on the cover of National Geographic in 1985. The picture would become famous and an endearing symbol of the turmoil and violence in Afghanistan. Gula's identity would remain a mystery until the photographer tracked her down in 2002. At the time, the woman had never seen her childhood photograph that had become so famous. Her plight and those of all Afghan refugees became the subject of headlines once again in late 2016 when she was arrested in Pakistan for fraudulently obtaining national identity cards. She, like hundreds of thousands of Afghan refugees in the recent past, were forced to return to Afghanistan as part of her punishment. Number 9. The Black Power Salute Tommy Smith and John Carlos wished to bring attention to the inequality that was palpable in the United States in the 1960s. So, after placing first and third in the 200 meters at the 1968 Summer Games in Mexico City, the pair raised their fists to the skies and bowed their heads towards the ground, creating one of the most famous images ever captured. The pair were vilified back home for the act. They were suspended from the US team and received death threats. Despite the backlash, they never apologized and stood firmly behind their stance. The man who won the silver medal, Australian Peter Norman, showed that he was solidly on the side of Smith and Carlos by wearing an Olympic Project for Human Rights badge during the famous medal ceremony. When Norman passed away in 2006, Smith and Carlos were pallbearers at his funeral. Number 8. Elvis Meets Nixon Armed with the belief that upon acquiring a federal narcotics badge, he would be allowed to legally enter any country with both guns and drugs, Elvis decided on a whim to pay President Nixon a visit in 1970. Where Wearing a purple velvet suit and a ridiculously large gold belt buckle, Presley told the president that he was on his side and firmly against those who use drugs. Though Nixon's famous taping system had yet to be installed in the Oval Office, the pair posed for photographs, shaking hands. Amazingly, the king got what he came for, an official badge from the Bureau of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. Number 7. Sanctuary Berlin Wall Constructed in 1961, the Berlin Wall stood separating West and East Berlin for nearly three decades. Over that time, the east side of the wall remained blank because people on that side weren't allowed to get close enough to paint anything. The west side, however, became the world's largest canvas where artists from around the world would go to share their works and, more importantly, their opinions. One of the most famous graffitis, often referred to as the Fraternal Kiss, depicts an actual photograph of Leonid Brezhnev and Eric Honecker embracing. Brezhnev was visiting East Germany to celebrate the anniversary of its founding as a communist nation at the time of the picture. Number 6. Lahaine Though its importance and relevance rings most clearly in the country in which it takes place, this remarkable film resonates with anyone who watches its shocking story unfold. French for hate, Lahaine chronicles a day in the life of three young men, Vins, Hubert, and Said, shown here in this iconic shot as they wander through their home, a banlieu, French for suburb but more like a ghetto, of Paris. Through the remarkable vision of director Matthew Kasovitz, the movie successfully chronicles the anger and frustration felt by French minority communities towards the police in a way that a movie made in France had never accomplished before. It's impossible to describe just how good Lahaine is, so go watch it for yourself. Number 5. Militia and Orange Flowers Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, became a very hectic place following the results of the 2004 presidential election in late November, a race that many felt was riddled with corruption, voter intimidation, and electoral fraud. Thousands of protesters 
often clad in orange, demonstrated daily in the city streets asking for the results of the election to be overturned. Thankfully, the gatherings remain free of violence, and nothing shows this more than this memorable picture of a girl attaching a bright orange flower to the shields of riot police. The peaceful protests of the masses worked, and the Ukrainian Supreme Court ordered a revote. After counting the new results, the candidate who supposedly lost, Viktor Yushchenko, was declared the winner, and his inauguration on January 23, 2005, marked the end of the Orange Revolution. Number 4. Abbey Road The Beatles became one of the most popular musical acts of all time in the 1960s thanks to their chart-topping hits and larger-than-life personalities. At the height of their fame, John Lennon described his band as being more popular than Jesus Christ, a confident claim that caused quite a tizzy at the time. The idea for what would ultimately become one of the most iconic images of the band, the cover of Abbey Road, their last album to be recorded, came from Paul McCartney, who sketched the picture days before it was taken. The shot took around 10 minutes and the band hired a policeman to hold up traffic. This shot, the one that made the album cover, was chosen because it was the only one in which all four members had their legs in a perfect V formation. Number 3. Raising the Flag Taken by American photographer Joe Rosenthal on February 23, 1945, this iconic picture has become one of the most recognizable images of war in the United States. Published just two days after it was captured, it became extremely popular, was reprinted in thousands of publications, and would become the only photograph to win the Pulitzer Prize for Photography in the same year as its publication. The famous shot depicts six United States Marines raising the American flag atop Mount Suribachi during the Battle of Iwo Jima. Three of the soldiers in the photograph would be killed in action over the next three days of battle. Number two, Monroe's billowing skirt. While in character for her role in the Seven Year Itch, Marilyn Monroe stood on top of a subway grate in New York City in September 1954 and created one of the most iconic images in movie history. The shot took place at 1 a.m. on the corner of Lexington and 52nd Street with 100 photographers and thousands of spectators watching. It took 14 takes to get right and wasn't even used in the movie. The scene was later reshot on a lot in California. Before number one, we'd like to throw a shout out to Minty Demon for commenting on our 11 scariest abandoned theme parks video. Thanks for the additional knowledge. Number one, Tiananmen Square protest. Nearly three decades ago, university students and many others gathered in several cities throughout China, including Shanghai and Nanjing, calling for political and economic reforms. The largest and most widely dispersed of these demonstrations occurred in Beijing's Tiananmen Square. Starting in late April 1989, thousands gathered in the square, making their demands, with media from around the world present and broadcasting the events. Protests continued for weeks until martial law was declared in late May and troops were stationed around Beijing. Finally, by the beginning of June, the government decided to end the demonstrations in the square with force. Heavily armed troops advanced towards Tiananmen Square on the night of June 3rd, opening fire on anyone who tried to block their way. By June 5th, the military had secured complete control of the area except for one lone protester, who defiantly and successfully herded a flock of tanks, if only temporarily, creating a lasting image of the tragic events. Many foreign governments, including the US, criticized China's handling of the situation and instituted economic and diplomatic sanctions as a result of what was labeled a massacre. The Chinese government's count of casualties, including soldiers, was 241, with around 7,000 wounded. But most other estimates say that the death toll was actually much higher. 